Welcome everybody. Welcome to another live stream with your boy Limber from the Limber channel. Today we are going to be doing a Jordan challenge. Um, if you know my cha my channel and you've been following me for a while, we've done it before, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do another one, so you you never know. They might have added something. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing the Jordan challenge. Um, let's see. This one says, start, a start, a start is born. North Carolina Tar Heels versus Georgetown Hoyers. March 29, 1982. The NCAA Division One Championship Game. The first thing I gotta do, of course, win the game. Second star, 16 points. Third star, 9 rebounds. Let's see if we can get that done. But give me a second. Give me one second if you don't mind. I need to set up a few more things. And then I'll be able to uh, jump into the joint challenge. And this is episode 1 of season 4 of... Jordan challenge. So give me a second and we will um head into the game. I gotta set up a couple of things. So give me one second. Let's see. Um Okay. That's set up. All right, all right. We yeah, have that set up quite well. There we go. That's something else we need to set up. Yep, yep. We click on that. All right. Got back my seat up. Just a little bit. Now, let's see what we can do. Because we got a joint challenge. Minimize this. So I can focus. All right, let's go ahead and click on the sixteen points and nine rebounds. Well, for Michael Jordan, his legendary stature begins here at the University of North Carolina. Interestingly enough, when Michael came into college, he wasn't thought of as going to be the savior to North Carolina. North Carolina was already number one team in the nation. So all of a sudden he comes into this talented team where he could develop and learn his skills and learn his craft. And I think that was the best thing for him. The game between North Carolina and Georgetown. This game is so important because you have three top 75 players playing in this game. Patrick Ewing was probably the premier player in college basketball, uh, along with James Worthy. Uh, and now you're adding Michael Jordan to the mix. Michael became a focal point with inside of the game that I don't know if Georgetown was aware of or was ready for. I think Michael Jordan hitting that game winning shot propelled him uh, into a great stratosphere of confidence. This is where he honed his skills to become the greatest basketball player that we've ever seen.
just a couple blocks away from the famed Superdome. And they'll fill every seat for the big one tonight. Oh my god, this championship game. This is so old school, bro. The Georgetown Hoyas and the North Carolina Tar Heels. For Georgetown. At power forward. Standing six. It's been a while. I mean, I don't re Harold McCray. I don't remember remember what uh, my TV looking this bad in 1982. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, everybody. If you like what you see, please smash that like button. That will help your boy out a lot. And if you want to know when I'm going live, please smash that like button and subscribe. And see, that's back in the day, um, the players had respect for each other. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, Pat Ewing. For North Carolina at forward, number 52, 6'9", 219-pound junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Worthy. Welcome everyone to the Dome here in New Orleans. It's the 1982 National Championship game. Remember, I need 16 points and 9 rebounds. With the North Carolina Tar Heel. Look at my North, North Carolina, Carolina Tar Heel, baby. Mike Patello and our reporter David Aldridge. This is Kevin Hart. Mike, both of these teams featuring incredible freshmen. For North Carolina, Clark Michael Jordan has been fantastic. Averaging about 13 points per game, shooting well over 50% from the field. Jordan is a big game player. And for the Hoyas, Clark, the seven-foot freshman, Pat Ewing, leads the way. And you know what, Kevin, defensively, I don't know if I've seen anybody better than Ewing. Controls the paint, protects the rim, and you can be assured that Pat Ewing is going to make You're it. You're going Pat Ewing? To score the wow. ball inside. And, and even as a freshman, he will have an impact on this game. Yeah, I agree. In the Hoyas backcourt, Sleepy Floyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold McRae at the forward. And star Pat Ewing is the five. For UNC, it's Adam Barnett and Michael Jordan at the guard spots. At forward, Craig Bacon and All-American James Worthy. And Sam Perkins is the center. These schools' talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. Got to focus. And it's the Hoyas to start out. Floyd passes to Nash. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. The shot by Floyd. No good. Clark Ewing and Jordan. Incredible freshman talents in different ways. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Ewing's in order to dominate the inside defensively. Rebounding and blocking shots, rim protecting, scoring near the hoop. Jordan is looking to get his by shooting. Remember, and in 1982, they didn't have a three point line. Boy, it's a joy to watch both of these guys play, and I can't wait to see them get after it. I can't wait either. No good from Duncan. 
Now the Tar Heels with it. Pass to Barnett. And it's Worthy in the corner. Jordan outside. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. No three-point line in NCAA basketball. And Clark, no shot clock as well. Yeah, I think those rules, Kevin, favor teams that focus on the inside play. Guys like Pat Ewing. It also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC, who are prone to play a delay game at times. And so Jordan nails both of them. He's as solid as he gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Ewing. Slam and a statement from Ewing. I tell you what, that one felt like more than two points. Ewing shaking the floor, firing up his Hoya teammates. And without question, it's a great time. For more, let's go now to our sideline reporter, David O'Connor. Thanks very much. They are expecting upwards of 60,000 people tonight in the New Orleans Dome. This is just the second title game ever played in a dome. Both teams were concerned. Oh my God. Oh my God. I touched him. <laughs> but um, one of the things back in 1982, um, game was a little bit more of a real game. It wasn't, oh, you touched me, it's a foul. Duncan right side. Passes it to Nash. At the elbow, Ewing. Pass to McRae. Here is Nash. Here's Duncan. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style has worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina has won 15 straight games and overall 31 and 2. Nash outside. They're at oh my God. already. That to me is just lazy defense. Oh, you call my defense lazy. All right. <laughs> yeah. And here are the Hoyas yeah. now. Six point game. Duncan kicks it over to Nash. And there's the pass to McCray. Oh, that's rebound, Jordan. Defensively by Worthy. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for North Carolina. Pulls Rick. up from the corner. Again, Worthy missing. The Hoyas trail by six. They need to find a high percentage shot clock to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down, and that begins to mess with your oh, Thank you all for watching. If y'all like tonight. what you see, please smash That's that like button and subscribe, please. One shot. good from Floyd. You know, before this weekend, none of these guys have played in a dome. It's hard to shoot in these places, Clark. Yeah, you know, I think sometimes, Mike, that's a tad overrated, but there is something to the fact that your depth perception is a little bit off. You can't really simulate what it's like in a dome. So I think you look for these teams to really attack and not settle for jump shots. And it's Nash missing. Our heels leading by three. Here's Jordan, and he drops it in from the low post. Jordan's got six. I got six. Older players like James Worthy might be the leader of UNC. Youngster Michael Jordan is the fire of the Tar Heel. And how unique is it? We don't often see a freshman Mike starting in the national championship game. Jordan's certainly a guy to keep an eye on. He's an incredible athlete and a tremendous competitor. The Hoyas shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And so the first one is good. He'll stay at the line for one more try. That one misses. Back 
Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Really impressive, smart basketball from a freshman. Oh, crap. Showing you good discretion with his shot. Freddy. Freddy. As to Baylor. Now, here is Weber. Guarded closer. Pass to McCray. To the right side. Here's Bailey, worthy defending. Second shot opportunity. Outside to Weber. Pass to Nash. McCray. Oh, yeah, offensive. Uh, there you go, offensive area. You got your angels. Take the tone cell. Yes, sir. Tar Heels leading by six. Caldwell passes to Bacon. Jordan outside. Shoots it up. From NBA three-point range, Michael Jordan. Trying to extend this lead. Actually, they're doing more than trying because the lead is growing. Well, this is a key part of the game. They're trying to get some breathing room. And now the Tar Heels on the break. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Establishing his presence inside. Jordan drawing. That's where I'm going out. Here. The Tar Heels shoot their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Something that makes Michael Jordan's performance even more impressive, he's only a freshman, and here he is in the starting five of the finals. Adams, he's checked in for North Carolina. And both free throws, good for Jordan. The Hoyas trail by 10. Mike, they are desperate to find the best. I wonder what happens if, if I win the whole thing. Well, I get an, uh, Michael Jordan card that I can use. Good time out right there. It was much needed. Yeah, the other team is clicking right now. Coach wants to try and halt this run. Let's take Sam Perkins. Uh, let's go with... Uh, and... You are a Oh my god, the uh Davis the pass to Bailey. Back to Davis, and the call is gonna be yes, yes it is an illegal screen. He was just a bit out of position on the screen. He tried to make up for it, but he got caught. Always a tricky play to call. But the refs were right on it. Michael Jordan on the wing. Puts it up. Rick. And North Carolina with the Hoyas. And Weber's got the ball here for the Hoyas. Trailing by 10. They get it back. Here's Bailey. Misses from short range. And it's North Carolina's ball. They're on a 16 to 6 run. Explosive on the bounce. Michael Jordan. Getting the shot to go despite the contact. That's a tough move by Jordan. It's stolen by Adams, and here they come. Here's Jordan. And yeah. Jordan has gotten to 16, passing his season average. Flying high, Jordan levitates. Then we need to work on the rebound the and win the game. There's the pass to Davis. Here's Bailey. That's in there. Nice shot, nice with shot. The assist. Nothing like setting someone up. Assist. Feels better than making a shot. To me at least. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yes, sir. Wow. Jordan showing off his incredible bounce. Playing in his final game at Georgetown, senior guard Eric Sleepy Floyd with just about 2,300 career points. Floyd is the all-time leader. In no, 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 no. Monroe outside. Let's it go. 
is holding oh, by bro. Is. Weber with it. Now defended by Adams. Nash with no one around. Misses the wing jet. And Clark, the man they call Sleepy. Floyd is 6'3. And some kind of excitement for the Hoyas. Love the way he plays with such Rick. flair and enthusiasm and energy. He's the focal point of the Georgetown attack. We're doing good. We're doing one of the We got in. draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He is a dynamo for sure. Yeah. Well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people, features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both hail from Gastonia. While they grew up going to church together, they went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, it was Sleepy's Hunter Hess High that got the better of James's Ashbrook in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story and very interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, they say Gastonia, North Carolina, pretty much shut down tonight, all glued to the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that town is watching this game. Worthy with a chance to avenge the state title loss with a national title win. Wouldn't that be something? You know, I told them not to change my mind. What's happening in the paint? They've got to clean that up. Yeah, their interior defense has been too easy to crack. Time to get physical down low. Georgetown center Pat Ewing, the seven-foot freshman sensation, was born in Jamaica. Played lots of soccer and cricket as a well, youngster. I did not know that. Family moved to Boston for high school, and the rest is history. Picked away. Awesome hustle from him there on defense. Excellent. Start. Here we go. Pass to Worthy. Here's Bacon. Bacon. Go from Guadalupe. Passes it to Perkins. Shoots. Great. And North Carolina in their delay game, taking their time. The Tar Heels being patient, hoping to capitalize on a mistake by Georgetown. And naturally, Coach, when the Ewings moved to Boston, Pat picked up the game of basketball. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> Becoming one of the most sought-after recruits. Oh, my ever. God. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out. a few schools, including North Carolina, but Ewing picked Georgetown. I think you like Good rebound, Jordan. Good rebound, Jordan. Our heels leading by 18 in the battle of star freshmen. And we've been watching it all night, Mike. Scoring wise, Michael Jordan getting the better of Pat Ewing. Jordan has raised the level of his game in this NCAA tournament final. Michael living up to the hype thus far. Indeed, he is. Here is Jordan. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Do not test Pat Ewing. Wow, try someone else. The seven-footer Patrick Ewing in the mind of the Tar Heel shooters. Mike, when we take a look out on the court, so much talent out there right in front of us on the floor. Kevin, there are at least five bona fide NBA players in this game. These young guys are playing. These young guys. Floyd, worthy. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. In the championship game. Nice pass. Floyd with an excellent feel for the game. Difficult to match up with. That's good. They're playing, bro. The Hoyas trail by 16. Duncan can't hit. And worthy has got it here for North Carolina. And the dunk by Jordan. There goes Jordan. He showed up and he's showing out tonight. Jordan understands how big this game is. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Duncan outside. Pass to Floyd. The putback. Oh, you blame me. Okay, okay. Second chance points. 
the conference freshman of the year. Guard Michael Jordan appears headed to Slaughter. Bacon. Basket is good. The assist from Worthy. Worthy able to drop dimes, and the team success he recognizes is his success as well. The pass to Nash. At the elbow, Green. Pass to four. Ewing trying to get open. Floyd, good. Floyd's got five now. And young Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn. Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. And Kevin, it's well chronicled, but Jordan didn't make his varsity basketball team until he was a junior. It's an indication of how everybody's journey to development is different. Michael used that slight, though, as fuel becoming a high school All-American. Michael Jordan, one to keep tabs on as his career progresses. Mike, we're still in the first half, but Jordan's been fantastic so far. Jordan is not just scoring, but he's also been efficient, not wasting his chances. Outside, Perkins passes it to Bacon. Worthy with it. Perkins trying to break loose. Worthy, no good. A perfect example there of how to protect the rim. To have someone back there who can erase oh, man. your mistakes. That's right, that's right. Defensively. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Kicks it to Jordan. Green with the rebound. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. One second left. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the North Carolina Tar Heel sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They You're about 14. I don't know how many rebounds I need. Easy points. We've got more in store for you right after this. The 16 points is already done. I need, I think, nine rebounds. And as dusk Good. descends over the French Quarter in New Orleans, win the game. Louisiana, we're ready to go with the second half. With Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Coming to you live from New Orleans, North Carolina, and Georgetown. Tonight, we'll crown a champion. And remember, if you like what you see, please smash that like button. During this year's NCAA tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second halves. Some tremendous post half oh, Okay, ball. okay. And he makes that one. Out of halftime and right back to work. He says, you know my work. It's on display. Respect it. And I'm sure that was something they talked about during the break. Getting him some good looks in the paint right away. He went foul, so that's what we talking about. And it's Barnett. Then it's Jordan. And it's Perkins in at the five. So that's the group out there for North Carolina. In the tournament, Clark the Tar Heels over 75% after the break. How have they shot it so well? There are a number of factors, Kevin, but I think one of the primary ones is patience. UNC has that stall game, if you will. They're looking for the best shot, and they wait for the right shot. The experience of James Worthy, I think, helps them with that as well. Helps them a lot. Back to Green. Oh man, couldn't keep him thinking to myself. <laughs> Here's Floyd. Barnett covering a step back shot here. North Carolina freshman Michael Jordan. Fantastic, Mike, so far. Shooting well, looking very comfortable shooting in a dome. Jordan will be key down the stretch. Pass to Jordan. And it's good. He's made two from every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. You can tell Jordan knows he has to outwork other guys inside. He doesn't expect it to be easy. Here's Floyd. Count that one. Floyd's got seven points in the game. What a move showing off the handles there. Tar Heels leading by 11. Jordan looking around. Here's Worthy. And he finishes nicely. There you go, my boy. Worthy for the ball, baby. Offensive boards in this game are huge. Worthy with a nice putback that time. 
Great job by the Tar Heels so far, neutralizing that unit. Well, you have to box Pat out, clearly. And you can't over-attack him with your offense. Sleepy UNC boy. doing a nice job keeping One Ewing job. in check so far. Oh, he's shooting the their court. fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. Bailey, he's checked in for Green. That's good from Floyd. Sleepy Floyd trying to convert early on because these free throws may serve to be the difference late in the game. Extra emphasis from Worthy looking to avenge that title loss last year. Out That's what we're talking about right now, boys. You're right. That was special. Showing how effective he is close to the rim. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Now the pass to Ewing. To the wing right side. A very patient possession. They're in no hurry. That's good, and the Tar Heels' lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Bailey. Duncan against Jordan. Pass to Bacon. Out to the right wing. And so it looks like North Carolina will retain possession here. Excellent anticipation there on the defensive end. Almost got the steal. Yeah, can't be loose with the ball around him. Outside worthy. Barnett passes to Perkins. Here's Barnett. He kicks it to Jordan. Over Duncan. Mike, for each school, a chance to make some history tonight. Georgetown looking for their first national title. UNC, they haven't won it all in 25 years. Assistant, Sleepy Floyd. Tar Heels leading by eight. Now here's Jordan. 24 points for him. Barnett, no good. Oh my God, but this is going to go. For the Tar Heels being forced into tough, bad shots by Georgetown, the Hoyas certainly playing championship defense right now. If you want to win an NCAA title, you need plays like that from uh, Georgetown. Nice. <laughs> They're lucky to maintain possession after that dangerous pass. They've got to be more precise with their ball movement going forward. And the Hoyas making a change here. Nash has checked in. Jordan outside. That's tipped. Oh my God. That's stolen by Duncan. Nash, the pass to four. Misses in close. Boyd's gone 40% from the four in 10 attempts. Goes back up. And Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got 26 points. Born in Washington, D.C., John Thompson is the perfect head coach for Georgetown. Big John was a great player back in his day. Backed up Bill Russell for two years with the Boston Celtics. Here's Ewing. They get it again. How about the effort on the offensive boards? Remarkable job, Clark. The coaching staff really appreciates that hard work. Love it. Not just the coaching staff. There we go. Get that rhythm back, baby. Throwing it down with tremendous power. One-handed nonetheless. He's an absolute force. That's for certain. Got a hand on it. In the matchup between the two outstanding freshmen, Mike, which you and I have looked so forward to tonight. Got a clear advantage. So far. Yeah, we need to keep going game. He's getting the better of Pat Ewing. This is huge for North Carolina. Big John Thompson patrolling the sidelines. Clark for the Hoyas. What makes him such a great coach? Well, the players love, but they also respect him greatly. You marvel at what he's done at Georgetown. He's really built that program into a perennial power. Prior to his arrival in 1972, it was a perennial losing program. He's got the Hoyas right on the precipice of a championship tonight. He does indeed. The Hoyas trail by 10. 